right, guys. Uh, we're winding down to the last few qu people who have questions, and up next is uh, Shadow Goth Ryu. Uh, and he ha he or she has eight questions. First question is: Do you re did you read the Infinite Crusade comics? Yeah, a little of them. They're pretty good. You know, I did like Infinity Gauntlet a little more, but Infinity Crusade is pretty cool. Uh, second question is: What animes do you currently watch? Black Lagoon, um, Helsing, and you know that's about it. There has been a lot of animes that interest me these days. Oh, and Bakuno. That was the other one. Your third question is: What crossovers do you read in comics? Uh, mostly any. Mostly characters that I know, or characters that I have a sense of. I like all crossovers, basically. I'm, I, I, I collect the crossovers in comics and in games as well. Uh, your fourth question is, do you think Marvel should do a Warlock movie? Yeah, I think it'd be really cool. I know Marvel's bringing out more less-known characters. I think it'd be pretty cool to see Warlock... I think he's a very well-developed character, and you could probably have Thanos as a villain. I would always want him for if they ever got around to doing a Silver Surfer movie, they should have done Thanos as the villain. Uh, so yeah, Warlock would be cool. Uh, your fifth question, yeah, fifth question: uh, Which fighting games is your favorite? Street Fighter, Tekken, or Mortal Kombat? Uh, it's a tie between Tekken and Mortal Kombat. I'm just becoming a Street Fighter fan, so I'm I'm new to the Street Fighter stuff, but I'm I'm liking it. Uh, but I'm more of a Tekken and Mortal Kombat fan. Uh, that's a tie for me. Uh, next up is uh, your next game is what games of Capcom do you play? Uh, Resident Evil. Street Fighter, just starting to play Street Fighter. Darkstalkers, uh, le uh, can't believe I'm forgetting it. Dead Rising, a little. I played a little of Dead Rising. Uh, uh, Mega Man, and just the, that's just the name to few, and that's pretty much what I've played for the most part. And Devil, a little of Devil May Cry. So, uh, your next, qu your seventh question is, Blade versus Alucard. Who would win? Uh, I don't really want to say right now because in section, my section three of my uh, fight video of my uh, fights, um, one of my friends, Young Jayway, wanted me to do that. So, I'll if it's all, all the same to you, I'll give my thoughts there. So, I don't want to give my thoughts too early. Uh, and your final question is, do you what games do you play from Sega? Uh, majority is just Sonic. A lot of Sonic games. Uh, I have, I, if I played another, if I played a, a, the other Sega games, I wouldn't know. I have played some of the Marvel, like the Iron Man Sega game, and it was, uh, <coughs> yeah, wasn't anything special, basically. Uh, now we're gonna move on to, uh, let's see, 91 Big Rick. And he also asked me nine, qu I mean eight questions. First one is, who do you think is the most underrated character in the DC universe? There are a bunch. There is a bunch. Uh, the question, I think he's underrated at some points. Uh, Dead Man, Aquaman, very underrated. Blue Devil, Firestorm. I could go on and on. Big Rick. The list is so long. Uh, number two. Which team would you join? Fantastic Four or Secret Six? Uh, Secret Six. I, I, I lo uh, I'd love to get some money and have some super-powered adventures as well. You know? <laughs> so, uh, your second question is, who is the greater warrior? Amazons or Asgardians? That's a tough one because, you know, the Amazons, you know, they're tough as nails. They take on the gods and monsters while, you know... The Asgardians, they take on other gods and monsters on a daily basis, so... I don't know, that's a tough one. Uh, your... Fourth question is, do you think Tarantino 
What do you? What would you think if Tarantino directed a Deadpool a Deadpool film? Uh, I'd really like that. I think he'd be really good at it. Just uh, just totally run with it. I think he'd be insanely well fit for the job. I'm surprised uh, Fox didn't look at him, or maybe he just didn't want to do it. I know they were talking about Robert Rodriguez, uh, but who you knows? It's it's all the movie's practically in limbo now, so. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's all that. Uh, your fifth question is, what currently are is your currently what are your favorite TV shows out today? Uh, there's a few, uh, just mostly animated shows. Uh, Young Justice, Generator Rex, Symbionic Titan, Avengers, uh, live action, not so much. I'm waiting to see this show from Falling Skies, uh, uh, on TNT, as well as, uh, Walking Dead, I'm waiting for season two, so there's another live-action show right there. Uh, your next question is, who would win this fight? Hulk or Doomsday? Uh, I'm gonna skip it, because that's, that's way too close to call. <laughs> Same as, uh, your other seventh question, who's more powerful, Zeus or Odin? I'm just gonna skip those, because I don't want to start a fan, uh, fan bo get the fanboys all pissed off. Uh, and your eighth question is: Could you see a Battle for the Cow story arc, be the Battle for the Cow story arc, becoming an animated or live action film? I'd actually say it, it's got more chance of becoming uh, an animated film, you know. And I think it'd be really cool, you know, bring in the other members of the Bat family, you know, bring back Jason Todd. Uh, you can have Tim Drake in there. You can have Dick Grayson. Every member of the Bat family and enemy in there, just all in there with. And you wouldn't really need Batman, you know. This would be this would be a good chance to show off the other characters that are part of the that are well known in the DC universe, but you don't have Batman. You don't really need Batman in there. Uh, that so that'd be cool. I'd love to see that animated. Uh, but thank you for the questions, Big Rick, and uh, we're gonna move on to a X Geigen X sixty nine. And first, he asked me ten questions. Uh, First question is, when do you, when do your, when are your debate, when do you do debates you are afraid of to do something because you're afraid of the fanboys? I have that fear all the time, you know, I've got some big characters in my fight, in my debate videos, or fight videos as I call them, uh, they're, it's always out there, and I'm always wonder, always afraid that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna start something, and it's gonna be hard for me to control, because people just can't seem to leave each other alone. You know, that's always my fear. Your second question is, how did you come up with your name? I was wondering when, if someone was going to ask me this question. Uh, I came up with the, my name be, just on a whim, because I like Deadpool and I like Godzilla. So that was, it was basically when I was thinking of a name when I started out, I was like, I want to think of something just totally new, and I thought, Deadpoolzilla. There. <laughs> Nothing to it, really. Uh, what's your favorite single issue? Uh, I have a bunch, actually. I've got too many to count, so... And I could go on and on about that list, but let's just say I have a lot. <laughs> uh, your fifth question is... Oh, oops, sorry. I skipped over your third question. Uh, your third question was, what's your favorite comic book fight? I've got a bunch, but there are some good ones. Um, there's actually a Hulk and Thor fight I have where Hulk and Thor just tear apart this small town in Louisiana, and they're just ripping each other apart. I mean, even it gets so bad that um, Hulk takes a moving train and throws it on Thor. That's how bad how badass the fight is. Uh, I've got a few others, but those are the general ones. Uh, but getting back to your fifth question is, who is your favorite movie monster? Godzilla. Do you really... <laughs> the name impl Like I said, the name implies I love Godzilla, favorite movie monster of all time, you know? Uh, your eighth, sixth, your sixth question is: Do you ever LOL at comics? A few times. There are actually no a bunch there, especially in some, Fabian Marquez's run in Cable and Deadpool. There's some funny parts in there. Uh, there's even a lot like Chew. Chew is another funny comic. I re I read that's pretty funny. Um, thought that was always pretty fun. Uh, your seventh question is: Did 
Did you ever threaten to overrule him? I'm not quite sure I understand that. I'm sorry, Gigan. I just... I don't get that question. So, if it's all the same to you, I'm gonna skip it. Uh, your eighth question is, are you a dog or cat person? I'm actually a bit of both, because I, I, I'm an animal person. I like uh, dogs and cats uh, for different reasons. Uh, you know, um, I'm, n I'm not too picky. Uh, I like all dogs, um, all cats. Uh, so yeah, I'm more of an an I'm, I'm, in, I'm one of those few people who are in between, you know? Uh, your ninth question is, what is your favorite drink? Root beer. I love root beer, man. Uh, I could drink that all day. I mean, I, uh, um, I'm, it's pretty good. I, I like it. I know it's a little childish, but, you know, I'm a year away, from, I'm only a year away from the drinking age, so I'm just gonna content with root beer. <laughs> uh, and your tenth question is, is it safe? Yes, Geigen. It's very safe. <laughs> okay. That was good. Uh, thank you, Geigen, for those questions. Um, I think we're almost about done. Uh, so, I think I'm going to try out... Uh, going to move on to Mr. Punisher Hudson while we have some time left. And uh, his question... Is, his first question is... What would happen if Lex Luthor went up against the Kingpin? Dude, he'd crush... I'm sorry, but he'd beat Kingpin's ass up in that mech suit of his. Like, it wouldn't be funny. It'd be it would be just total domination. I mean, Kingpin's a good fighter, but Lex in that power suit, man. Uh, your second question is... Huntress, Wonder Woman, She-Hulk. Screw one, marry one, kill one. Well, I wouldn't kill any of them, but... Uh... I definitely do She-Hulk and definitely marry Huntress. Sorry, Wonder. I I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know why I just left Wonder Woman out. <laughs> but I, if I ha I felt like if I had to get rid of Kill One, if I had I couldn't do Kill One, I'd have to do. Uh, I'd have to leave out one of the two girls. So your third question is: What are my thoughts on the DC Universe Online game? I haven't ma been able to play it, so I couldn't tell you, but my general opinion is that uh, it's it's a very fun game, you know? It's a very, a very well-driven story. I, I love it. I really do. But uh, I haven't been able to give my full thoughts because I don't play the... I haven't been able to play the game. Uh, your fourth question is who would win? Scorpion versus Devil Jin. Oof, that is a good fight. Um, I, I really, th that's really cool, uh, Punisher. Uh, that is a really close fight. I'm, I don't know. I don't want to say because when people ask me these questions, it always feels like I gotta talk about it in a debate video. Because talking about it here on a Q Q and A video would just be dragging on forever. So, no comment, basically. Sorry. And your last question is: Is Halo overrated to you? Um, sorry, Halo fans, but yeah, it's kind of overrated. I, I now don't get me wrong; I don't hate Halo. I I think the games have. I've grown tired of the games, but the mythos itself, like the comics and books, those are great. I really like how they've extended the mythos and all that. So, yeah, I really dig that. I think it's um, a very cool extension of the universe of the Halo universe. I think it's very well done. And uh, yeah. I, but the games, yeah, I'm pretty much done with the games. But the Mythos, still love it. Okay, and the last ones, uh, it, the last questions come from Mr. Jersey Boss. And, uh, you know, actually I think I'll wrap this all up in... I don't think I'll be able to have enough time for the rest of it, so I'm just going to come back in the last part. So, I'll see you guys then.